right, so on this sell me temper machine, the auger motor makes just like a clicking noise, so I believe this gearbox is fried. And here's why that gearbox isn't working. Man, those teeth are just gone. There's like some teeth, barely, and then sort of as you go around, none. And it seems like the worm gear, you know, I mean, I'm sure it's not great, but it's mostly intact. Lay on the worm gear. All right, I'm back at this temper machine. Sell me. Found the gearbox was bad, so it's like skipping teeth. Um, I'm sorry, that's the new one. So here's the old one. And I always do gearbox and motor, and the new motor is actually a little more powerful, which sounds good. All right, I switched over the display and the bolts. So something worth knowing when you're switching a motor out, there's you know high voltage and low voltage wiring, and you gotta refer to the plate. So if I had run it like this, that would have been wrong. I gotta go to this configuration with the little bars across. All right, got the new motor gearbox fitted. I had to sort of twist it and go up and down, and I had to end up taking the end bell off. So I'll pull this screen out to get the end bell back. And I've got some new tubing too, because this glycol tubing is totally deteriorated. So next I'm gonna get the set screw in this. This has a sort of critical torque and then you set screw it so it doesn't spin. And this wire, I'm gonna have to feed down and through into the panel and connect all the motor wires. All right, and this machine is a glycol machine. So this device here is the chiller and this line was the one that's broken. So I pulled that off, goes down to here and I got a new section of uh, tubing, so I'm gonna replace that. And then of course refill the glycol. All right, I led those motor wires through and they go to this block right here, screw terminal block, and I've marked them. Typical marks I make are like lines and dots and then I got matching marks on the wires. All right, the motor's wired. So here's the new motor and gearbox installed and this section of blown glycol tubing is replaced and I just diluted some glycol and filled the machine up and this is the bleeding procedure so the topmost part of the circuit has this guy a little air bleeder just sort of open it I hear a bunch of air coming out right now so I'll probably have to add more glycol because no glycol is coming out. I did hear a bunch of air hiss out. All right, let's see if we can pour with the lid open. Yeah. And we'll just, nothing out of the bleeder yet. Looks like we got a little flow. There. Now I see like a steady drip. So I'm pretty sure I got all the air out. Just close it up. All right, I got that end bell back on by removing this grate. And that fridge keeps scaring me thinking this machine is turning on. Of course it won't, it's unplugged. All right, so it's gonna have to warm up for a while before the spout temp gets warm enough to run the auger. I did manually turn the auger, um, you know, when I was assembling. So I know it's not frozen and, you know, this is a new motor. So I feel confident everything will be fine, but you don't really know till it runs and then one concerning thing, I see a service tap here, which has a high potential for leak. So it could be low on gas. And since I don't want to wait here for forever and a day, the spout chocolates, you know, solidified. So I pulled the 
the spout off. And I'm just gonna manually melt this and then I'll be able to test it. There it goes. New motor's running nice and smooth. That's good news. And let's check our glycol one more time. Oh yeah, see, a couple more small bubbles came out. It's all looking good up top. So now we're gonna test its ability to go into temper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this to start temper. I'm gonna start feeling around on the compressor. And then I'm also gonna set a timer. I want it to beep and complete temper within 15 minutes. Compressor kicked on. What I feel for is I want this line to get hot. It is. That's good news. So we'll also look for leaks. So we're gonna check for leaks here. I see a drip hanging right there. Let's dry that off. Oh yeah, that's feeling good. I feel it moving heat. So after it runs for a while, we expect the water here to get nice and cold and it's cool not cold yet we just started our 15 minutes though all right so it hit temper in like four and a half minutes it is very low on chocolate but it did pull down quickly everything's working check the compressor and the last thing I'll do is clean out the condenser fin.